I thought the first rule of Hong Kong boys, is you don't talk about boys, Hong Kong. Boys, boys, boys. Well, they let the spy in. <laughs> let, me you, let me tell you something, boys. That's where dreams come true. Oh, damn. Hong Kong is a place. <laughs> All right, so you were just telling us about some amazing thing that happened. <laughs> yeah, dude, so this guy in Oregon, Eugene, Oregon, right, empty, empty, empties out his uh, family shared bank account and out of like anger and rage, he took it all out and he went on a high uh, speed pursuit chase in the freeway and was throwing $200,000. Whoa. I'm talking about big bills too, hundred dollar bills Whoa. out of the window. So the car, the cars immediately stopped and got out of the car and started fucking grabbing money, wow. dude. Which all of us would do. Yeah. Well, all of us would yeah. do. But we would all do that. Yeah. So they caught the guy. He went to jail. You know, all was good. But then the family's uh, asking for the people who went out and got the money to return the money, please. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah, who's gonna right. fucking return the money? Like, that's honestly, your, that's your son's dumbass idea to do that. So I thought people were yeah, were nice. Was well, it? Wait. So who is it? The father? The like who? What? what who, who are the other shared people? No, who's the person that did it? Was it the, the son? The son. The, the son. son. Yeah. So he's mad at his parents. He's mad at his parents. Took the money out of the shared bank. I mean, it's the parents' fault that he has full access to the family. Yeah, bank. exactly. exactly. How exactly. rich is this guy that he could just? Throw away oh, 200 G's like that. He like probably he's not an idiot. Have, does yeah. he have more money on the other side where it's also, like pennies to him? Probably not. I mean, if you're in a shared bank account with your family, you're prob you probably don't have a normal sense of money. Yeah. <laughs> and also, like, what did you do yeah. to the kid to but piss him so off? Like, to, to just throw away. Or that kid's just a rotten fucking apple. Dude. He sounds oh, like a fucking. Sounds like a piece of shit. Piece of shit. Yeah. Apple, that is a shit. nut, dude. That's a crazy. That not, like, but also a great guy if you're one of the people that caught the money. Oh, yeah. people caught, like, <laughs> uh, there's people that, that uh, are reported, like, that caught, like, $2,000 worth. Yes. Uh, yes. Imagine like, just coming, coming up $2,000 right. on what the freeway. If? And what that's $200,000 that he threw out. What if, we're, what if we're just judging this guy and then it's one of those things where, like, all you guys ever care about is money? Well, if that's what you care about, mom and dad, I'll show you. Yeah. And oh, it's yeah. like, we'll you greedy yeah. motherfuckers. We need a background check on this guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that kid sucks. <laughs> anybody brought any of it back? There could be a there good Christian. Be, you know, it's, it's, oh, again, if this is. Like, you know, you think California? <laughs> nah, dog. Nah. LA? Somebody, no way. But Oregon? 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 Yeah, I mean, nice. you know, Eugene, Oregon, they're very like. I think some people gave it back. I felt guilty spending a thousand. So I decided to give my 200 back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, bitch, please spend a thousand. Yeah. So to yeah, be clear, know, every dude. one of us would stop and pick up money. Yeah. 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 Fuck yeah, if I dude, saw like right money now. is flying out of the car, I'm pulling over. If I that. see all these people slowing down, we're like, we're creating a wall. Yeah. Yeah, Everybody dude. Put your Let me tell you something up. right now, my guy, okay? I was fucking at school and some kid fucking lost $5 and I found it and I put it in my pocket and then they stopped the class. We're not going to lunch until somebody replaced those Brings that five dollars back, and the kid's crying. And I knew the fucking kid. Yeah. And I didn't do a god. <laughs> <laughs> like a I yeah. sat there and I was like, "Do you have it?" Nope. You should have learned a lesson. If we check your pockets, make me. <laughs> I'll call the principal right now. <laughs> I have rights. And so they never you could have just me. been like that's mine yeah, yeah no no it was yeah. obviously they didn't tell me to check my pockets i was like very convincing i was like dude i was a very good actor yeah they <laughs> right. tell me like did you have the five dollars like no I, don't. I was the concerned person too it's like dude who has it <laughs> dude come on Lead detective everyone we gotta go to lunch dude it's fucking johnny's money yeah. <laughs> and the teacher, like, I would get really angry. The teacher's like, "All right, calm down, calm down. It's okay. We'll, we'll find it. Some will find it." You get, it's messed up. You get closer to Johnny. <laughs> Matter of fact, go to lunch. Go calm down. We'll, we'll fiddle this. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you just stay out of this. Yeah. I'm in fucking it lunch. It clearly dude. wasn't you. <laughs> I'm in fucking lunch. With my fucking snacks. Like, I want uh, sh <laughs> <laughs> I could buy everything in here. What, dude? I'm in the fucking, fucking cart. In the back of the fucking line. Does anybody want? Cheetos or no hot Cheetos with cheese? Yeah, get like three of those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like five bucks. You know what I mean? I'll get you a lot at that. It was like fifty seven five cents. You yeah. know what I mean? A dollar with fucking extra yeah. cheese. <laughs> so. 
to answer your question, I wouldn't give a goddamn dime back. <laughs> Finders keep. I lived on this American rule, dude. Finders keepers, losers weep. What if you found somebody's wallet and had their ID in it? You know how many times I've done that. <laughs> now, uh, if I would have found, I did return somebody's wallet because I do remember like it happened to me, and it sucked. Yeah. And that really sucked. And I remember going like, fuck, are you kidding me? And it was devastating. Like, I just like, I had everything and I was like, fuck that. So one time I did find somebody's wallet and I'm like, oh. And it had money. But I was just like, I remember that moment. I looked at his address on his ID and mm -hmm. I showed up and I gave it to him. That's cool. And he was okay. happy. That's he didn't, he didn't give me shit, but he was happy though. He couldn't believe <laughs> it either. He's like, dude, are you fucking, no way. He gave me a couple of hugs and I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's all good, dude. If you I have a daughter that wants to get fucked, let me know. <laughs> I had a lot of friends with uh, questionable oh moralities, right? So one one of them found a wallet at the mall. He's like, oh shit, look at this shit, you know? And then he takes the money, and I'm like, okay, cool. So you're going to return it? He goes, no, I don't want them to know that I took it. So I'm like, what are you going to do? So he throws it away, and he goes, I don't want their identity to be stolen. <laughs> Okay, smart. that guy. That's smart. <laughs> so I'm like, so you're carrying, you're carrying because you don't want their ID, credit cards, and all those things to be stolen. But I'm like, dude, you could take the cash and give the rest to the security, and then I'm just like, what the fuck? Oh my god, are you serious? Have you, have you guys ever been to like a club? Where there's bottle service, and then there's a guy that starts throwing like dollar bills everywhere. Really? You ever yeah. seen that when they yeah. make it right? It's like a thing. Yeah, yeah, my brother does that. Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of people do that, but it's really bad taste to like pick the money up. Really? Why? Because well, you look like a crazy guy. You have to, because so, you look like you're poor or something? Yeah. Dude, I don't give a shit. I'll be on my knees and just pick him up. But it's supposed to be for the, the bar, the waiter later? It's supposed, yeah, it's supposed to be for the house, basically. Oh, okay. I've been in strip clothes where I like. I had friends who were like showing off their wealth, and I'm like, I step on it or something, and I just fucking drag it. <laughs> but, <laughs> there's a lot of and the strippers. I, mean, I caught my like me my stripper. We caught eyes look crab in the money. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, oh, like, you like, I throw a rag over her face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of videos of the classic <laughs> rag of <laughs> stealing stripper money. Yeah, of people yeah. like recording people with like, even in strip clubs yeah. of guys just like or mostly it's girls that are like taking the money and just kind of box other strippers. What? No, just regular yeah. girls that regular are not. Girls? Yeah, didn't Usher get in trouble for that? Like he threw like money in the strip club with um, his face on it because he was promoting oh, his, fake dollars? his uh, residency. Smart. That's smart. He threw it all out and then people were like, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Like, this is fucked up. Oh, he did it in the club, huh? Yeah, no, I think he did it in a strip yeah. club. A that's strip club. club? Yeah, and he threw, he, he, he made it rain, but it was what? like, it was either a strip club or a club, I don't know. Oh my God. You should just buy that I think kid, we did it here. you know the kid sticky hand thing? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was great for grabbing money, dude. That shit was fun. Have you seen those dollar guns that you can make it rain? Yeah. I, I never oh. seen them before. I want to use one. The cash machine. Oh yeah, yeah those are yeah, fun, that's dude. Pretty fun. I never threw money like that. I don't like to do it. It's like at a, a strip club, you never made it rain. Mm. Yeah, well, like. And then just I make it rain, and the butt, <laughs> the butt just. Yeah. Jiggly, yeah. Jiggly, jiggly. I think I respect money too much. I don't know if I could do that. Nah, I mean, yeah, that's the thing, dude. I'm very. You have to have I'm an attitude like, of like, fuck money. <laughs> I don't give a that's, fuck. But I'm like, I don't know. That that's not honest to how yeah. I feel. That's not me. You know, the strip clubs. I just feel so fucking fake there, dude. You know, they tell you what you want to hear, and I just feel so like. Uncomfortable. You're like, you don't want me for me. I know you don't like. You it. don't even know me. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I would say, though. Yeah. <laughs> As you cry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't want to dance with you. You don't even know who I am. I don't, I don't, you don't know what I like. I was getting a lap dance, and that's when I was like, I'm never coming to strip club again. I was like, getting a lap. I really liked the girl. She was like, give me a lap dance, and I'm like in it, and I'm just looking at her, or whatever. And then for some reason, I'm just wondering, is she liking this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I look at the mirror, and I see the mirror, and she's legit, just like. And I remember going like. Yeah, I'm not doing this. Again. This is like yeah, so yeah, yeah, awkward. Cause it's her job. And she just and she was. You could just see it in her face. Like it's like, she what time am I fuck. off? Like yeah. what is going on? This small dick is so. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, this is all. Oh, I was the worst, and I was like, never again. This is just so awkward, like yeah. for me. Yeah. So I just 
We just go with prostitutes now. That's <laughs> <laughs> a real fucking deal. You know what I mean? Why are, we, why, why are you messing around? Yeah, why know. are we getting blue balls here? Let's just uh, fuck. That's yeah. my mindset. If I'm gonna go, if I'm gonna go to a strip club, I'd rather not go to a strip club. And like, if I'm gonna indulge in services like yeah. that, you might as well just get a prostitute. You might as well jizz. You might as well and do the real thing. If you're gonna spend money, yeah. some dudes do jizz at strip dude, clubs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true though. Some and dudes some, clean that feet. Some strippers yeah. do. End up giving you that liberty. Yeah. Have you guys ever Depending been to where a, you go? They gotta like you though, right? Have you guys ever like heard of this magical Ooh. place? Uh, it's called Hong Kong. Hong Kong. My buddy was talking about. How did you guys know? Wait, Hong, Hong Kong, Kong down south? Yeah. TJ Hong Kong. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> what is it? It's one of those. I gotta like take a shot before you tell me. I thought the first rule of Hong Kong boys, is you don't talk about boys, Hong Kong. Boys, boys, boys. Well. They let the spy in. <laughs> let, me you, let me tell you something, boys. That's where dreams come true. Oh, damn. Hong Kong is a place. <laughs> it's Let's a talk magical about place where you can, when anything goes. You know what I'm saying? Over there, money talks. Oh, I see one of those kind of places. You, you know what it is? It's like, uh, all these people that are like, <laughs> All these fucking active shooters are like not getting pussy and they're like Send them to Hong Kong! Send them to Hong Kong. Kong. Yeah. Alright? Let's send them to Hong the Kong. Country. Not the country, but like, you know. The one in Tijuana. Just give him like a couple of thousand bucks and he's gonna be fucking fine. There should be a fund by the government for this, you know? The things you can do for a hundred dollars in Hong Kong. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> your dreams will come true. <laughs> You're a fucking king. You know what I'm saying? You see things. The things that I've seen was just like, wow. I grew up like like really fast up there just like with one walk walk around I'm like whoa i became like five years older <laughs> <laughs> i'm a seasoned vet now are you definitely like after like an hour you're like this is rough it's a lot going on here so when you walk in what's the first thing you see first thing you see right you walk in it's like three levels and then oh, the fancy asians are at the top you know the fancy Asians. oh yeah they got the fancy asians over there at the top yeah. and they're fucking straight maniacs dude my they're gosh. doing some fucking nasty stuff up there and then uh you walk in and there's just strippers normal strip club it's beautiful you know they're greeting you in fucking pussy <laughs> your face you're just like oh lovely yes fuck my fantastic <laughs> You're walking past that. Then in the back, it gets needy, greedy. <laughs> greedy. It gets nasty, dude. That's when things are like, things are being used. Stuff is going on. So, so the rest, you gotta just figure it out. <laughs> the rest, when the cameras turn off, I'll tell you some fucking stories, dude. Yeah. <laughs> but what I saw back there was definitely on like, okay, okay. <laughs> You're gonna walk in. A virgin and leave. Yeah, oh, dude. <laughs> yes, dude. Exactly. You walk in and you're like, just from seeing it, you get AIDS. You're busting nuts just seeing it. Yeah. You're just like, whoa, fuck. Everybody's just, yeah. You gotta <clears throat> Hong Kong.